Hi everyone, welcome to my day. It is Wednesday morning, a very sunny morning, but I didn't get my walk this morning because I had a very early start, around about 5.30 a.m. I got up, 6 a.m. I was up and about and getting ready for work, and then 7 a.m. I had to drop my wife and my daughter off to the station. They're going to London to visit some universities, and then it was back home, do a school run, and then into work mode. And I've already edited a couple of videos and also got halfway through editing the editing room tour video for 2014. So I'm halfway there. Update for you on it, it should be ready by this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. And don't forget there's gonna be two versions, one version on YouTube and the second version for patrons. So do check out the link to the Patreon campaign in the video description. Enough promotion. On with the day, I've also got to do today some question of the day videos. I'm gonna record, I think, two or three. Uh, because my throat's a little bit sore, I'm gonna try and save my voice a little bit. It's just a, a little bit grating. Probably the weather, probably allergies. There's a lot of pollen around at the moment and the hay fever is definitely kicking in. So I really wanted to show you this in today's video. This is my Herman Miller mirror chair. Now, the reason I'm showing you in today's video will become clear at the weekend. But what I wanted to talk to you about is the age of this chair. Now it's either six or eight years old. I think it's eight years old. My wife said, no, you've only had it six years. So we go for six to eight years old. And throughout those years, when people have seen it in my videos, they've looked up the price and said, are you mad? How can you justify investing that much in a chair? Well, actually they say, how can you spend that ridiculous amount of money? I use the word investment because a chair is an investment. When you spend a long time, sitting at a desk doing your work, it's really important to have something that's very ergonomic and very adjustable as well. And these Herman Miller chairs, all of them are very expensive. But the point I wanna make is that this is six to eight years old and it's still every bit as good as the very first day I got it. It's got a couple of little marks on the arms and they were put on there by user error where I scuffed it on the edge of the desk and didn't lower the chair before I pushed it in. But everything else is working exactly as it did on day one. You've got adjustment on the front of the seat, you've got adjustment on the arms, you've got height adjustment, tilt adjustment, you've even got lumbar adjustment on the back so you can change the curvature of this mesh back. It really is an absolutely superb chair. Now the other chair that you can see, that orange one down there, the orange and white one, is a very good chair. It's extremely well made, but it's about the same quality as some of the other chairs I've bought over the years. And when I've been buying second chairs, so I've got the Herman Miller chair as my main chair, but I have like another desk area that I wanna put a chair up to. When I buy those second chairs, I normally invest anywhere between, I don't know, say 60 pounds or 50 pounds, up to about 120, maybe 130 pounds. And I can pretty much say that all of those chairs have needed replacing after approximately a year, maybe 18 months at a stretch. But all of them have needed replacing, so that's like 100 pounds every year on a chair. And then you look at the cost of the Herman Miller chairs, and they don't quite seem that bad when you take into account how long they actually last. So I just wanted to talk to you about that, as I say, all will become clear at the weekend why I wanted to show you this particular chair today. I did tell you a couple of days back that it had moved down into the studio, so it's not in the editing room anymore. So anyway, my day, the rest of my day has been really doing a lot of planning. I didn't record today because I've got a sore throat, but I always keep myself busy and there's always stuff to do. So I've been doing a few articles for the website. I've been planning out video descriptions and scheduling videos for the rest of the week. I've also got that really exciting video coming out of the weekend. So, so excited to share that with you. Been playing with the LG G3, preparing for some new products to come in. Also sent a product back because it had an issue with it, expecting a replacement, hopefully by Friday this week. I'll tell you all about that when the replacement comes back. And also I helped a neighbor out order a new tablet device. I wanted them really, sort of if it was me, if it was my money to go for an Apple iPad, but they'd seen a Samsung Galaxy Tab in store and really liked the 10.1 inch version. So I did a search for them, found the cheapest price online for a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, which seemed to be the best sort of option for them. They're really happy that that's on its way. And the rest of my day is gonna be relaxing. I've got to sort of do a little bit of email. I've got about half an hour before I need to start cooking 
and feed my son, not feeding my wife and daughter tonight because they're still in London. And that has been my day. So really busy, really sunny, really hot. I'm not even sure why I have got this hoodie on because I am sweating streams. That's going to come off as soon as I put this camera down. So I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're enjoying the weather as well because it certainly seems to be getting a lot warmer lately, especially in the UK. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video. Hit the dislike button, of course, if you didn't like the video and leave me some comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, and follow me on my social networks, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button, put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.